Hey guys, it's the Battle Productions, and welcome to our episode of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Last episode, we went through Mount Moon, and we got ourselves to Cerulean City. In this episode, well, we're going to explore Cerulean City, and then we're going to head up through the Nugget Bridge. And yeah, hopefully we can get to the point where we can actually fight the gym leader in the next episode. So be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new, if you like what you see. And anyways, let's get going with the exploration. So this house has been robbed in the past, but we installed an alarm system. We never got in trouble for bur from burglars again. That is great. That is a good thing. Technology is incredible. Let's see. So we got this Cerulean Hotel. Wow, the map was a little off there because I like walked through the half wall, half door. I don't know. Let's talk to you. Welcome to the hotel. Um, no, it's not rent a room. That's that's quite expensive since we have 4,000 bucks. That's it. Okay, so you've accepted to help zero people. Um, there's still, uh, okay, well, that's a secret, okay, um, help four more people and I'll give you something good. I don't know what the concept is there, but I guess that's probably like quests or something, I don't know. I'm completely in love with this girl, I even wrote her a love letter, but I'm too shy to give it to her in person. Sure, um, her name is Maud. she's a Pokemon breeder, she usually hangs out in one of the routes next to Cerulean City. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna be playing Cupid. Okay, so hand out love letter to Mata, the Pokemon breeder. So, oh, we can't read it. Oh, come on, that'd be hilarious. Come on, uh, okay, we'll respect his privacy. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting building and it showed that there are quests in this game. Cool. Your trainer do collecting, fighting, it's a tough life. I bet it is, let's see. I'm Misty's boyfriend. I'm so lucky to be dating a gym leader. Oh, you are so amazing. All right, let's see, what else is here? We got a Pokemon Center. There's stuff in there, but let's talk to you. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds exciting. Yes, that is quite exciting. Here we go, Slowbro. Slowbro, withdraw! No, that's wrong! It's hard to control Pokemon. Your Pokemon's obedience depends on your ability as a trainer. Bro. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's talk to this old guy. I may not look like much now. I used to be a very strong trainer back in the day. I stole my gym badges to prove it. That is great. Uh, can we see them? And nah, that's not happening. Okay, hey, it looks like we're gonna need cut to get through there. That's unfortunate. Actually, do we have cut now? I don't even know. I don't know. It was worth a shot. <laughs> I don't remember if I'd cut or not. I think you get cut. Oh, shoot. Actually, you get cut at the SSM. What am I talking about? I don't know. It's crazy. You know, I might as well try. Okay, here's the bike shop. You wanna buy a bike? Yeah, I'll cut you a sweet deal. Oh, for a hundred thousand. Used to be a million, but now it's a hundred thousand. Oh, they usually cost 10 times as much, yeah. What do you think? Uh, sure, let's get one. <laughs> okay, how can you buy a bike if you don't even have 100,000? Bikes are expensive, okay? We have to import them from the other side of the world. Go ask your parents to borrow some money and come back then. Yeah, that's a little too much to ask for, but whatever. I bought this bike from the bike shop over there. It was expensive, but it's a good bike. I bet it is. Let's see, let's talk to this old lady. I look over to this park to relax in the sun with my Pokemon, and here's Ekans. Okay. So let's check out the Pokemon Center, see if there's anything special in here. There's a couple trainers that I didn't talk to, so let's see. You want to play some music? Sure. Ooh. That's nifty. I like that. Nice little guitar cover there. Misty's the coolest, stronger, and strongest, most beautiful gym leader of all. I want to be just like her when I grow up. Okay, that's great. Oh, I thought I might play as we left. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Let's see, there's this building right here. And here's this guy. He's like, trade my Jinx for a Poliwhirl. Um, I don't have a Poliwhirl, but I would, because Jinx is kind of an interesting Pokemon. Oh, trade off! Okay, my husband loves training. It makes him feel like he's younger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding me? This person looks pretty young to be married to this old man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not going to go any further into that, but that's weird. Yo, Michael! I just went where you're going and saw that you, so I figured I should tell you what's over there. Bill, the creator of the PC system, owns a lighthouse over there. He also has lots of Pokemon and filled up lots of my Pokedex pages. Now I bothered even stopping by, I challenge you to a battle. Alright, here we go. We got a rival battle against Blue! Let's go. Alright, let's see. Does he have the traditional team? Actually, I don't think he will. He'll probably have some fusions of some sort. Let's see. Pidgeotto. Well, that's definitely not a fusion. But whatever, um, this is a semi-good matchup, sort of. We don't have a Rock-type move, but Blue's go for the Karate Chop, and that should do half, about, yeah. Now it's going to be neutral. It sounds good. Quick Attack, we will resist. This guy doesn't even know what the typing of our Pokemon are. 
Let's see. Let's go for that scratch. Okay, you're gonna go for quick attack. Go for that priority. Do that. Whatever. That's not gonna help you at all. So there's that. Pidgeotto is down. Let's see what his next Pokemon is. Okay, well, we got to level 19. Cool. Let's see. What's next? We got a Mantata. Oh, that's a Mankey Rattata. Um, yeah, we'll stay in. Okay, we'll go for that Karate Chop. That should take it out, right? Yep. Critical hit. Nice. All right. Now let's see what's next. Uh, Abra. Okay, we'll switch. Um, let's go to our shiny Pidge Tata. Let's go. Yeah. All right, let's see. We'll go for that Bite. Probably only has Teleport at this point, so that's why Bite would be a better option. And we take it out no matter what. I'm not sure how we bite that Abra with our beak. I mean, we could, like, peck it, but not bite. Uh, actually, I guess we could bite, but I don't know. It'd be kind of weird. <laughs> okay, here's a Charizard. Wow, that's actually not that bad of a fusion. I remember, like, a lot of these fusions actually look better than I remember. I don't know if it was just a recent update they said, hey, I'm going to fix some things, or I don't know. But this seems a little clean, so that's kind of decent. Let's see. Let's just go for the gust, see what happens. Super effective. That really didn't do too much. Scary face, or speed's gonna harshly fall. That's not good. But it's gonna go for a Dragon Rage! Wow! That is not cool. Okay, so it's close to dying. We're gonna die if we get hit again. I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch, because we do get that priority. And it, it will land if he's using an attacking move. Okay, yes! Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yes! There you go, Pitch Tata! That's how you do it! That is it for blue. Hey, take it easy! You won already! Well, anyway, I'm off to Vermilion City to get my third gym badge. Smell you later. Okay, well, we're going to heal up quick, and then we will take on the Nugget Bridge. So, I mean, yeah. I'm, I really like all the additional changes to this game. I'm just, it just looks clean. It's like these black and white graphics in the Kanto region. It just looks fresh. It looks clean. So, yeah. Oh crap, I don't mean to nickname, I just want to switch. But, um, yeah! Let's see. Now, that would have been cool if, like, in Generation 7 they decided to remake Kanto again. I mean, this would be the second time they'd remake... Actually, no, would it be the third? It would be the third. Because of Gold, Silver, and Crystal... Oh, that's a fourth. <laughs> I can't count anymore, but yeah, there's Gold, Silver, and Crystal. I mean, technically it's not like a traditional Red, Blue, and Yellow remake, but the region's in the game. Then we got um, the Kano region in Leaf Green Fire Red. That's a traditional red and blue and yellow and green Pokemon game. And then there was Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Which is the same thing as Gold, Silver, and Crystal, but just remade. So, like, if they made a 7th gen remake of the Kano region, which I think they should, because, I mean, it's been 20 years since the original. I mean, that's what started it all. And I feel like it would have a lot of potential. They have a lot of places where they could expand on the story quite a bit. And, I don't know, it just seems to me that they could do it again. I'm not a Gen 1-er, like some people are. But, I don't know, I just like to go through Kano once again with, you know, Sun and Moon graphics. That would be, like, that would be mind-boggling. I don't know, that's just me, though. Okay, we'll just go for the water gun here. There's that cack dude going down. That's it for Kale. Woo, good stuff. Yeah, that was good stuff. Let's just keep moving on here. I'm second. Now it's serious. All right, here we go. So, last alley with three Pokemon. got a Pidro. Okay, so it's a Spearow, uh, Pidgey. Um, yeah. Okay. Nice combination there. Looks interesting, to say the least. Let's see. Then we got a Manish. Is that a Mankey Anish? I think, maybe. Probably. Yep. That looks so dumb! Oh my gosh, it looks so awkward! Ah. Okay, so what would this typing be? Grass fighting or poison fighting? I'm gonna go for Venishak. Okay, it's poison fighting. Oh well, doesn't matter. Next move, we will take it down, so... No big deal. Special defense fell, that's kind of annoying, but we'll just go for the double kick. And finish it off. There we go. So let's see, what's next? We got a Belloran. So Bellsprout, Nidoran. So that's something. Okay, that... Yeah. <laughs> that's something. We're gonna go for a bite. 
and that almost takes out double kick that's resisted we are okay there oh man so there goes that Bellaran. So that's it for Ally. No, my well thought strategy. Yeah, that really wasn't that great, to be brutally honest. I didn't even know what your strategy was. I'm number three of the Nugget Bridge. Prepare for a defeat. Alright, let's go. Youngster Timmy. Let's see who's got. Meow Shrew. Okay. Well, Water Gun will definitely take this thing out. There you go. Let's see what his next Pokemon is. A Psykins. Huh. A Psyduck Ekans. Water poison type like Warina. Ah. Guess we'll just stay in with Warina. Yup. Oh my. Yeah, that's something. Okay, well, we're gonna bite. Just bite that duck snake thing. <laughs> Go for. Oh, wait, that, that's, that's not very effective. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Let's see, water gun, that's not going to do much to us. Yep, nothing. So, bite will take down the Psykins with a crit. Nice. Warrior that's going to get the level 21. And there we go, that is it for Timmy. Oh, but wait, boy, suffer defeat. Because you suck at Pokemon. Let's see, we'll take a look here. Um, let's switch around here. And we'll move on. I'm number fourth in Nugget Challenge. Prepare for the bomb. Okay, let's see. Last rally with an Abaran. <laughs> so it's okay, so it's psychic poison type. Cool. We'll go for that hyper fang. And we almost take it out. Oh, double kick. I mean it's neutral. I wasn't even thinking about the flying type secondary typing there, but I don't know. I should have gone for a bite. That'd have been super effective. Guess I don't know my type, Matt. Oh my No! Really? Poison points? Alright, well, that's annoying. So, Abran, here we go. Another one will go for the bite and then get super effective damage. Please take it out. Thank you very much. That is it for Rally. My technique. Yeah, it, your technique's awful. But hey! Pidge Tata's evolving! There we go. So we're gonna get a Pidge Kate or something. I don't know. Let's see. Come on, what does it look like? <laughs> ah. Oh no, that looks so. Oh my gosh, Pidge Kate. Uh, that looks so. Oh, that looks so bad. Let's take a look at Pidgey here. Its stats are semi decent. I mean, its speed's really good. Its attack's decent. But, uh, it's okay. Let's keep moving. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stop you. Okay, we'll see. Camper Ethan. And he's gonna have a Zuki. Alright. Well, I know I'm definitely gonna go for the Gust. Try out this new Pidgey Kate. We almost take it down. So we go for a bite, which is neutral. Get hurt by poison, because I didn't bother to go back to the Pokemon Center. Bite, or not bite, I don't even know what I'm saying. It just went for bite, but I am going for Gust. Which takes it out, and that is it for Ethan. No defeat! Yep. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You're in a fabulous prize. And we get a nugget. So by the way, we joined Team, uh, joined team Rocky. We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Yeah, you want to join? Um, yes! Great, you can just sign here and wait. Are you the kid who was messing with us at Mount Moon? I'll take my offer back. We would, we want no troublemakers in our organization. Oh, come on. Really? When, okay. You, <sighs> Why? Usually, it's like you, you keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. You would, you, what? Actually, I don't think that's true, but, you know, uh, uh, ah, come on, why not? It doesn't hurt. Come on, I'm totally dedicated to join Team Rocket. <laughs> no, I'm not, but, you know, whatever. It's a whole scheme, you know, I just, he, he saw through my scheme. I was definitely going to just disguise myself. Then I can take out Giovanni from the inside. Okay, so we got a cough bat, so that is kind of weird. Um, it'd probably be a poison flying type. Um, yeah, Maureen, I will do it. 
Oh my, that looks like something. Okay, well, we're gonna go for the bite. And that, eh, that, that didn't do as much as I thought, but yet again, Zubat's frail, but coughing is a defensive beast. I don't know, pretty decent. Okay, so assurance, that's not gonna do much. Bite again, bite him in the face, there you go. That's how you do it, and that is it for Elvis. Ah, you are good. Is that it? With your ability, you got the top leader in Team Rocket. Yeah, well, I said yes, and you're like, oh, no, uh, no, you're not going to do that because you messed up our plans in Mount Moon. Like, ah, oh, you could be a top leader. Really? Then let me in your group. Ah, ah, dialogue. It should, like, be different based on the choice you made there, but, you know, whatever. Let's see. Let's head back to Route 24, and I think there's a trainer down here that we can fight, right? Um, that trainer is gone. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's head up here. Hey, there's an item here. We don't have strength, so we can't go there quite yet. But let's keep moving here. Okay, we've got a youngster. Uh, let's go pork chop. Pork chop should do the trick here. Youngsters usually have a Radita variant of some sort. Yep, look at that. How, how did, like, how could I not, you know, predict that? But it's youngster Joey. With that rat, I tell you. So, whoa. Um. Um. Okay, so it's a ratata raticate combination. Interesting. We'll just go for the karate chop and take it down. But that is kind of. I was not expecting that. But wow, I lost? Yes, you did lose. Alright, let's see. There's an item back here. Pick it up. It is a protein. Okay, nice. So we can boost some IVs in the attack stat. So the local trainers come here to practice. All right, Kelsey, let's see what you got. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna risk the poison and go for fairy swipes. Oh wow. Fun. No poison point. Can we take it out in one hit? <gasps> yeah. No. Oh gosh. Are you kidding me? The last one was the one that got me poisoned. Are you kidding me? Ah, that's so annoying. Okay, Nidoran, so, okay, well, we're gonna go... I guess Warina. Part poison type, so you can't get poison unless that mechanic's not in this game yet, but... Hopefully it is, we'll go for a bite. Double kick will do jack squat. Hit two times, alright, well, we'll bite away again, and there goes that Nidoran. Alright, that is it for Kelsey. You're decent. Okay, now I have to heal up my Pokemon, because I semi-care about my Pokemon sometimes. Uh, let's see, okay, we don't have... I'll be right back after I heal up. Alright guys, I am back. Here we go, let's take on some more trainers. We got a hiker here we need to fight. I just got down from up moon, but I'm ready! Alright, that's, that's great, I'm glad you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. Okay, so here we go. We got a dude here. Um, yeah, that's something. We're gonna go for Karate Chap. Which is super effective. Awesome. And we'll see here. Do we have... Okay, Pika Chop. I have a feeling this thing will have static as its ability, and I won't appreciate that. Um, but yet again, I'm going into a water type when I'm going against an electric type. But, ugh, I don't know. It's just an... Ugh, I don't know. Let's just, oh my gosh, <laughs> that Pikachu though, oh my gosh, it looks so weird. Okay, we're just gonna water gun, there you go. Critical hit, it's gone. Thank you. And now let's see, Bell Dude. We'll stay in. And we'll go for the water gun. So that is neutral, good to know. It's gonna go for a wrap. Ah, wrap. At least it's not like Gen 1 rap. That's just like, that's brutal. That's definitely one thing I didn't like about Generation 1. There were some battling mechanics that were messed up, and this was definitely broken. <laughs> Glue dude. Uh, okay, we'll stay in. We'll go for the water gun. Which is neutral once again, but you know, whatever. But, um, yeah. Uh, what was another thing that was broken? I mean... You could combo, like, poison and wrap together. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. But I would use Bellsprout in, uh, like, Pokemon Blue. 
I would always put poison powder wrap on it. So I get it poisoned and then I would just rap nonstop. Yes, rap like, yes, I'm gonna rap some lyrics. No, I'm kidding. But no, usually like, it just, it just does so much damage. It builds up so quickly and they can't do anything about it. At least the trainers don't. So it's like, it's really, it's just insane. But yeah, let's see. What, what does this guy have? I know he, he used to have a slow poke. So he's probably gonna have a slow poke of some sort. Pop poke. Yup. All right. So that's a, I don't know what the typing is for that, but we'll just go for the fury swipes. Can we hit five times and, well, at least this time we won't get poisoned. Yeah, okay, we got, okay, we hit four times. Oh gosh, got that growl. Oh gosh, okay, so we're gonna go for the Fury Swipes once again. Let's see, can we take it out? Oh, what the, this is a fixed one too? <coughs> oh, really? <sighs> okay, that annoys me. All right, Pidgey Cake, come on out. Um, that's messed up. Okay, we're gonna go for a bite. Almost take it down. Pursuit. And there we go. <sighs> Seriously, how did that have effect spore? I was thinking, oh yeah, that, that Paris won't have effect spore. It's fused with something else. Nope, next thing you know, it has effect spore as its ability. Just my luck. Okay, let's see. We'll go for... It's a hiker, so we'll go with Warina here. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel. Here we go. And we'll... Okay, we got this hiker, dude. We're gonna go see Bill first. Let's fight. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Got a Pikachu Machop or what? Got a Sand Chop. Which, I mean, it looks pretty bad, but not as bad as, like... Oh, uh, what was it? A Mankey Oddish, was it? That was That was brutal. That was definitely brutal. Imagine a primate Oddish. That'd be weird. Okay, so Geekins. Actually, even, is it possible? Yeah, I guess you have to fuse a primate with an Oddish. So, it's not like you could just level it up and it would stay like that. I think it would go at the same time or something. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Some of the fusion mechanics I'm quite confused about, but whatever. So, yeah, you're something. Yeah, I am something, all right. Let's fight you now. I knew I had to fight you. Yeah, well, that's that's good. Um, Camper Flint. Let's see. So, Venakins. Let's see, that's probably a Poison Grass type. Go for Bite. I know for sure these don't have Effect Spore. Yeah, that doesn't work. We're a Poison type. But, yes. Okay, so it's gonna keep, it's gonna bite us and we'll bite it back. That's something right there. That'd be quite the battle to see in person. Now we got a Venusaur here. Is it grass ground or is it poison ground? I'm, I'm gonna see. It is poison ground, so that's definitely going down. Good. And that's it for Flint. I knew I'd lose too. Good. I'm glad you knew that you lost. I, or you were going to lose. Let's see. I lost this Pokemon Professor at the Cape. Good for you, buddy. We got Wayne here. With an Oddix, that is something unique. I uh, will go for the double kick. And wow, that did absolutely nothing. Our speed fell. Okay, whatever. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness that missed. I was about to say, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. It flashes the sliver of health. Oh gosh, we're gonna hit with sleep powder, aren't we? Well, do we have a grass type with us? I don't know nope, if we don't have any. So something's going to be taking a sleep powder here. Oh no, it's going to go for Rock Tomb and Miss. Okay, cool. I like that. And now let's see. We got, yeah, that's it for Wayne. I lost. Yeah, it, somebody else on the route said that earlier. So yeah, kind of a repeat there. Whatever, we got our Pidgeot here. And let's use Pidgeot for the remainder here. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Whatever you say. Lass Haley with a address. Okay, well, we're going to definitely go for the gust here. Super effective. Goodbye. Let's see what's next. We got a mangy. Ah, that thing's pretty scary looking too. Not like scary like tough, but scary like weird. So, yes, that will go down too. And let's see, what is next? We got an Odd Doom. 
All right, cool. That's going down. Oh, it lives with a sliver of health. My bad. I will go for another gust. Take it down, and let's see what this last trainer has to offer, and then we can make it to Bill. Oh, I was in bad condition. Yeah, sure you were. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Oh yeah, she's like right in front of you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you lose right in front of her. Well, they. Oh, you have a bald tat. That's actually not that bad looking. Hmm, not bad. We'll go for the gust. It looks semi decent. At least the fusion does. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it looks kind of a little off, but not like super awful. I mean, the name's kind of bad, but still, what do you expect? Ah, uh, Draukin, so drowsy Ekans. Ah, uh, we'll stay in. And go for the bite. Actually, that's kind of weird. It's like, the drowsy's head is semi... It, it semi fits the Ekans for some reason. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Um, oh, well, my girl will cheer me up. Uh-huh, yeah, sure she will. She's like, you suck. I need a better boyfriend. Oh, what's going on here? Woo! That was a good swim. Um, okay, you're here. Hey, are you another trainer? Gosh, you're, you're the second one through. I just wanted to swim. All right, I guess I'll go back to my gym then. Okay. Um, okay, that's interesting. And what the... I just noticed something. I just saw Misty, like, walk through the wall here. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> all right, Misty. Just break all the game's mechanics. Okay, pork, yeah, pork chop's gone. Whatever, let's go into the lab here. Hey, it's a ride down, not a Clefairy. See, is there anything up here of importance? Maybe. Okay, so he's working on some artificial intelligence. Cool. So a sophisticated machine, better not touch it. Sounds good. Now let's talk to our Rhydon here. It's not like I'm expecting anything here. It's a Rhydon, let's catch it! Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not, call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemon mechanic. Uh, what's that skeptical look? Hey, I'm not Josh, and you guys screwed up an experiment got combined with a Pokemon. How about it, will you help me out here? Uh, no. Wow, oh, come on, you gotta help me when I'm in trouble. Fine. Okay, so yeah, we'll run the cell separation system. Sounds good. Oh. He looks... Looks quite different. <laughs> Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So you come see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's bummer. I gotta thank you. Oh, this will do. And we got that SS ticket. Nice! That cruise ship SSAN is in Vermilion City. Its, its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Sounds good. And now let's leave and come back, and I think we can actually see the Pokedex. Or not the Pokedex, but the uh, all the Eevees and stuff here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe we have to wait until later when we get all the Eevees and be able to put them in the Pokedex. I don't know. I thought I might as well check that out, but it looks like there's no shortcut out of here. So we have to go all the way back without a ledge. All right, so that's that's unfortunate, but it's not gonna take too long to get back. So let's see, we are almost there. And we are back. So okay, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next time we'll be taking on Misty at the Cerulean City Gym. So be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new for some more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. See you guys later.